Happy Chinese Year, everyone. Let's usher in all the prosperity this year with this huge prosperity yi sang from Sushi King. What's up, everyone? I'm Wayne Liu. Welcome to a new eating show on Itoko. I really, really, really want to do more eating shows like this. So please help me out by clicking on the subscribe button or like Itoko's Facebook page. Today, what do I say? I have this huge prosperity yi sang from Sushi King. I think this portion goes for like four to six packs easily and it has a lot of like cool ingredients here i have um jellyfish um i have some sliced cucumbers baby octopuses sliced carrots more jellyfishes more cucumbers i have fried crab meats let me show it to you guys and last but not least no actually i still have something left but like one of the main 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 ingredient that i'm looking forward to is actually this salmon here so this is actually for four to six person and then um i actually don't know whether i can finish this it's a huge challenge people usually toss it and then eat it in like a group i'm trying to finish everything by myself so it's gonna be challenging so before i start i'm gonna put these in so these are actually crips and i think you usually see them on tempuras and on top of that they also have like some sal salmon meat they also have fish eggs which is abiko i think and then they also have some peanuts as well so I'm gonna pour all of them all over my yi sang it has sesame as well which is cool oops I dropped my salmon meat all my crap gonna put this away and then over here they gave me two sauces I think this is a combination of soy sauce with wasabi yep smells like it the wasabi smell is super strong and for this I think it is the sweet sauce that I will have to drizzle all over my yi sang it's gonna be awesome and then there are a couple of limes here which I'm gonna drizzle it all over my yi sang as well i'm just salivating when i as i'm doing all this is there another line yeah Don't do this i'm not a big line person so i'm just gonna there so next thing that i'm gonna do is to toss it and this will look quite sad because people usually tossed the yi sang in like a group but here is just only both of us so let's get tossing are you ready yeah. oops 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 okay so as we toss we'll need to say good words but not too loud else it will mess up the noise of the camera Sorry. okay so we're gonna say good words yes in in english english or mandarin whatever okay. okay we'll do a mix okay i try okay let's go one two three 
Kong si Fatai Prosperity make more money this year, more subscribers for Itoko, more views, more likes on Facebook, more money, career, better career, better love life, getting to do what I love. Yeah, travel more. Xin chào sư thơ, quan sư rủ y, công si phát thai, sân si chén khang, better health, super duper important. I'm gonna mix everything. Let's not toss it too high. Oh my god, it's a mess. Yeah. So people usually do this standing as well, so it's a bit tricky for me to just... Happy Chinese New Year, everyone. Oops. Oops. Happy Chinese New Year, everyone. So, now that we've tossed everything, let's start eating. Mmm. Take the top six. It's taste. Smells really good actually. Thank you. Looks good, right? Salmon is the salmon is really really juicy. I'm gonna try the baby octopus. So chewy. I'm trying not to make a mess because it's already a mess.
Is that right? Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. So usually, like if you get like a yi sang platter like this from other restaurants, they usually make it up with a lot of like, I would say, junk crips, like just crips with coloring. And I'm really impressed by this uh, yi sang by Sushi King because they actually use a lot of like high quality ingredients like salmon. <laughs> baby octopuses, um, jellyfish, cucumber, like veggies, and also like even the crips is made out of like the crips that you see on tempuras. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, really impressed. They will have one. Yeah. They will have huge prawns as well, and, and fish eggs. So everything put together is heavenly. Not to mention that <coughs> the sauce is actually not that sweet as compared to other restaurants because you usually like I'm not a big fan of yi sang because I see it as like a dish that everybody just has have fun tossing it and then but like the taste itself usually it sucks in most places. Other than the shitty ingredients that they usually use, it's also because the sauce that they usually use is extremely sweet. So after just a few scoops, you'll be, you feel like I can't take it anymore. So really good, really good Yi Sang by Sushi King. Octopus. <clears throat> I love baby octopus. I'm actually from Penang, Malaysia. So this Chinese New Year, I'll be heading back to Penang to just hang out with my family and also meet up with some old friends that are still, that are all going back to Penang. So it will be a fun 
week together. I'm actually taking the entire week off. So it will be amazing meeting up with friends and just spending quality time with my family and relatives. Mm. This year I decided to take to fly back. So I don't want us to get stuck in traffic. I also didn't want to go through the hassle of like trying to book my train tickets and all that because they usually sell out quite early. So I actually bought my flight tickets a year ahead of time. So like last year, February, I think that's when I bought my flight tickets back to Penang during Chinese New Year this year. So really looking forward to it this time. There are a lot of baby octopuses. Do you want one? No? Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Usually I go back <clears throat> for, usually I spend around three to four days in Penang during Chinese New Year. And this year I spend the entire week. So for sure, I'll be eating a lot because what is Chinese New Year without food? And since I have a lot of time this year, what I actually have in mind is to watch some Chinese New Year movies with my family as well. So it will be fun. What will you be doing during this Chinese New Year holiday? Leave a comment below to let me know. Hmm. One interesting thing that people always measure, especially in Malaysia or Singapore, is how many times they get to toss Jisang. So this time round, this is my second toss. I did my first toss a couple of days ago with my team members at work. So it was always <clears throat> it's always super fun to talk to you some but this toss is my first ever toss with just two people yeah. and this is also the first time I'm finishing an entire Gisang platter like okay there's two people here but I'm Finishing like maybe 95% of the entire platter for four to six people. So interesting experience. But granted, this is a good bowl of yi sang. Some of you might not know it, know this, but <clears throat> yi sang is actually not a traditional thing for Chinese all over the world. It's only a traditional practice for Malaysian and Singaporean Chinese. So I don't know how it happened and why it happened, but apparently like Chinese in China, in mainland China, they don't toss yi sang. So it's do we do it to like usher in prosperity and all that but it's not like a traditional it's not like a traditional thing that you do 
all over the world for Chinese. So interesting. I thought that would be interesting for you guys if you didn't know this already. Wow, and that's it. I'm done with my Yi Sang platter. Before I end the show, I want to wish everybody who is watching a happy Chinese New Year and Kong Si Fa Tai. If you like this show, please remember to give me a thumbs up or click on the like button on Facebook. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!